let's talk about toilet ventilation. So this is four inch pipe under here that goes down to two inch and comes up through here, which is reduced to inch and a half. But here is this Oatly vent right here. You can see. Now, when I put this together, I thought it would be close enough to the toilet to vent, but watch when you hit the toilet. It won't vent down. There's not enough air. You might think your toilet's clogged. You might think the flusher's bad. But we're, we're going to move this today. So look from underneath. Here's the toilet. Big long sweep. And then we go into two inch. Which just goes right here. And up. And then probably another foot and a half up there before it elbows. This is how we're gonna fix it. We're gonna cap off where that where this was originally. We're gonna put this right there. And we got a reducer for this thing. Um, not a reducer, but turns it into threads. So this will go right there. So let's get all this roughed in and glued up and cut and stuff. A piece of tape will kind of help be a level guide so we're not cutting too crazy. tape and fix this other side where we know how to cut. Also, I recommend cutting the loose side first so this won't all be flopping around. Like you won't be holding this trying to cut off a piece. This is still secure. to have that primer for this thing to work we'll get a good coat in there all right that glue is toast actually found a little 
wet spot on there. This is such a small job. I think we'll be fine. It's a little pasty. But I think it's good enough. end for the air to go with the flow out of the house. Okay. We will put our air valve on there. It's now only about let's see about two feet or actually about 18 inches from the four inch pipe. We're going to install this where that came off and we'll try another flush test. All right, let's get this capped off right here. So now our vent is downstairs. All right, let's see if it'll flush. and subscribe.